Hello, Switchboard Live community. My name is Joey Palermino. I am your customer success lead here at Switchboard Live. I'm here to help with any of your live streaming needs, whether it be setting up your account with Switchboard, or if you're a longtime user, I can help you out with whatever you need in that regard. Today during this webinar, I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that'll help you optimize your usage of Switchboard Live and help get you more viewers in the process. If you are unfamiliar with how Switchboard works, there's three aspects. You have your encoder, you have Switchboard Live, and you have your social media destinations that you're sending your video to. It all starts with the encoder. The encoder is what generates your video. So you take your encoder and you send your video through to Switchboard Live, and then Switchboard Live becomes your master go live switch, allowing you to multicast your video to all of your social media destinations. The first tip and trick we're going to talk about today is how to set up a template within your Switchboard Live workflow. A template is basically setting up your video title, video description, any hashtags you want to include, which will be ultimately pushed to all of your social media destinations. So to jump in the platform, in order to create a template, you click on the three dashes, which is our menu in the top left corner of your Switchboard Live workflow. And then on this menu, you will see the templates section. So you want to go ahead and click on that. I do have a test template set up in here, but in order to create a new template, we're going to click on the plus sign at the top right corner here. You will see unnamed template right here. Now this is just the name of your template. It's just for your organizational purposes. None of your viewers will actually see this name. And then when you get down to the stream information section, this is the information that the viewers will see amongst all your platforms. You would set a category. In this case, I'll just do music. And then description, you can put anything you want here. If you're fundraising, you could put a link in there, but I always recommend putting something out as easy as thank you for watching. And then you can put any tags you want in here. And all you need to do is just type out the word and press enter. And you will notice that there's no save button on this page. It will automatically save for you. So in order to apply this template to the workflow, we're gonna click back on our menu in the top left corner here and we're gonna click back on the workflow option. And so we have our group of destinations right here, and we're going to apply this new template to the group by clicking on the pencil sign. And then under the active template dropdown, we're gonna click that, and we're going to choose the template that you had just created. And you'll notice that all of the stuff from that template will auto fill in here. And what's cool about this page is you can actually edit the template directly from this page. So from here, all we need to do is click the red save button. And you will notice that the template will appear right here on the group toolbar. This will be the name of the template and this will be the title of your video. So once I go live to all of these destinations right here, the viewers amongst all of those platforms will see this information within that video. And if you have any other questions about templates, feel free to reach out. The second tip and trick we're gonna talk about today is setting up different groups on your Switchboard Live workflow. And as you can see right here, I have two different groups of destinations set up. I have a group that has all of my YouTube destinations and I have all, a group that contains all of my other destinations. Having groups is a good way to organize your Switchboard Live workflow. And the cool thing is you can also set a different template for each group. As you can see here, I have, I have test template number three applied to this group and I have a different test template applied to this group. The big thing with that is even though you are sending the same exact video to both groups, you can have a different template sent to each group so that the group will see a different video title, video description than the others. The big benefit of this is if you have different social groups that you're trying to send different messages to, it allows you to organize your message in that regard. And just like the templates, if you do need help setting up your switchboard live workflow, I am here to help. The third tip we are going to talk about within Switchboard today is setting up a custom RTMP destination. So all of my destinations right here are set up through our native connections through Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, LinkedIn, and YouTube. However, if there's a player out there that you do not see on our list of destinations, we have a custom RTMP option that allows you to manually configure that destination. This also comes in handy with scheduled events on Facebook and YouTube, 
that actually have their own RTMP URL and stream key. If you need to add one of these destinations, you add it just like you would one of the other destinations. So you would just click on the gray plus sign right here. You would click on new destination. And instead of choosing Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, we're gonna choose the RTMP URL. So the player or site you are trying to stream to should have its own RTMP URL and stream key, which you would grab from that site and manually enter it in both of these fields. Once you have that in there, you would click the next button and then it automatically adds that destination to your workflow to be able to stream to that particular player. The custom RTMP is a great way to stream to destinations that Switchboard Live doesn't natively recognize, but as long as those destinations support custom RTMP or RTMP in general, you can stream to those destinations. I would recommend using this option if you have a scheduled Facebook or YouTube event that you wanna stream through Switchboard. And I'm more than happy to assist you with setting those up if you do need assistance. The fourth tip and trick I want to talk about today is adding and removing destinations from your Switchboard Live workflow. As you can see here, I have seven destinations set up between two groups. And over on the right here, I have white X's that allows me to remove a destination from my workflow. And if you do remove one of these destinations from the workflow, it doesn't automatically delete it from your Switchboard account. It does allow you to stream to that destination if you need to at a later stream. So I'll show you what I mean here. For instance, I have my LinkedIn destination and say I don't need my LinkedIn destination for this stream and I wanna remove it from my workflow altogether. So I'm going to click on the white X over here on the right. And you'll notice that it was removed from that first group. So if I click on my menu up here and I click on destinations, this is a group of all of my destinations that I currently have loaded in my Switchboard Live account. And as you can see, I have my LinkedIn destination stored right here. I can always completely unauthorize that destination within Switchboard and take it off my account by clicking on this pink trash can over on the right. If I just wanna re-add it to my workflow, I'm gonna click back on the menu, I'm gonna click on workflow, and I'm gonna now add that destination as an existing destination within my Switchboard Live account. So I'm just gonna add another destination. So instead of choosing new destination, I'm gonna choose existing destination. And this will allow me to choose between all the destinations that have been already authorized within Switchboard, just like that LinkedIn account I was talking about. So I'm going to check that one and I'll click done. And you will notice that that LinkedIn destination got re-added to that group. And you can do the same thing if say, if you wanted to remove this destination from group number one and put it on group number two, if you need to. So to view a list of all of your already authorized destinations within your Switchboard account, you're gonna click on the menu in the top left corner. We're gonna click on the destinations section. And this will have a list of all of your destinations that you have authorized within your Switchboard account, including that LinkedIn page that I was talking about before. The last but not least feature we're gonna be talking about today is the stream share feature within Switchboard. StreamShare is a unique feature that Switchboard Live offers that allows you to invite other people to authorize their social media destinations to your Switchboard Live workflow so that you can not only stream to your pages, but their pages as well. You might ask, why would I need to do this? Big reason is, say you have a guest speaker on your upcoming stream, and they come to you and ask if they can stream to their social media channels as well. StreamShare is a great way to easily invite those people and it also avoids them having to share their social media login information, which can sometimes be not very secure. It allows them to basically authorize everything on their own by sending an email invite directly from Switchboard. So we're going to dive in how to send a Switchboard Live StreamShare invite. So we're going to click on the plus sign to add a new destination. But instead of choosing new destination or existing destination, we're going to choose the StreamShare option. The first thing you want to do is let the person know what the stream is going to be about. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be an event. It could be a series of streams that you're doing with them, but you would want to enter this information here. And the description, I always recommend putting something like, please join us. And the third field you'll see is request expiration, event, and date. So basically, if you leave this blank, their social media page will be authorized within your Switchboard account for as long as you need, and you can always manually take them off at a later date. However, if you put a date in here, after that date, 
their social media destination will be unauthorized within the Switchboard account, basically not allowing you to stream to their page anymore. That comes in handy if someone wants to stream your video for one event and one event only. So I'm just gonna leave that blank for now. And we're gonna click the green next button. So this is where you'd actually send the invite. So I'm just gonna pretend that I am sending an invite to myself. Next, we're gonna put in the email address. And you'll notice that there's a contact phone number field. This is not required at all. I would recommend not putting anything in there, but we're not gonna call that person at all. So next thing we wanna do is click send invite. You will then get a notification at the bottom of the screen that an invite has been sent to that person, allowing them to share their social media pages to your workflow. And just know that you will receive an email notification when someone does authorize their social media destinations. And they can obviously authorize not just one, but all of their social media pages if you need to. So once you have received a notification that someone has shared their social media account to your Switchboard Live account, you need to go and add it as an existing destination to your Switchboard Live group. In order to do that, we're going to click the gray plus sign and choose existing destination. And that person's shared social media page will be listed under your existing destinations, allowing you to choose that page and add it to your Switchboard Live group. And StreamShare, again, is a very powerful feature and it is unique to Switchboard. It allows you to really expand that audience and it will gain you more followers because you're basically doubling your exposure to your channel. You're not only streaming to your channels, but the channels to the person you're using StreamShare with. And I'm more than happy to give anyone a demo of StreamShare if needed. And at the end of this video, I'll share a link and our phone number so you can schedule a time with me. All right, Switchboard Live, that does it for our tips and tricks for Switchboard Live today. Again, I'm more than happy to help out anyone with any of these things we talked about today. You can schedule a time with me at the link on the screen at the end of this video. But I really appreciate you taking part in this webinar today and happy multi-streaming.